Look at the mountains. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm out here walking to Birch Lake. Oh gosh. Being here is bringing back so many. Now see, the stupid Google wanted me to cut through the school. Google Maps. I made chili. Okay, that's loud. I have no clue where I'm at, where I'm going. Um, I'm just walking around. Man, the sun is so blinding up here. Look how beautiful it is out there. It was snowing. Turn left onto Access Road. No, not turn left there. That's Cranberry Street. Do you have to let it linger? I brought a hat. I am just so happy to be here. Um, oh, look, there's a path. Bringing back so many memories. I got my steel toe waterproof boots on because it's so wet. Seeing the birch trees, birch trees are my favorite. I gotta start painting birch trees more. Oh, hush. Okay, when I get to the lake or closer to the lake, I will come back. Okay, so the lake um, was in the middle that I was trying to go to, was in the middle of a residential area. So I looked weird walking through there, middle of the day. Um, but it's also, frozen so neither I'm, I'm just trying to turn around but still it's nice to get out and take a walk but the cool thing is I've been noticing as I've been walking you know because there's moose that live in this in Anchorage um, and in the fall they have well like through the spring they have like this velvet stuff on their antlers and in the fall, when it's rutting season, they go crazy rubbing it, trying to rub it off. And you can see trees with parts of it rubbed off all over the place where the moose, and you can see how tall they are. Okay, so this is, this is a huge, like probably eight foot fence with barbed wire at the top. And the moose, his horns up there. At least that's what I guess that is, because I've been seeing it all over. Um, there's another tree on the main road that I've seen. This is Diamond High School. I didn't know she was that close to Diamond High. Um, but even the, even the bird sounds are different here. Like here you hear, you hear a lot of um, seabirds, like northern seabirds, you know, because we're, we're way up here. You know, the ocean, um, if you look at a map, like even growing up here, I never knew how close to the ocean we were. I thought, I thought we were really close. I mean, obviously we're close because the inlet, but I didn't know how close we were to like deep ocean and how many places I had been that were like right off the coast of super deep water. Ooh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. But look, these beautiful birch trees up here, they're like pink. I seen a weeping birch back there. I should have filmed it, but I didn't want to like be creepy. Look at these these birch trees right here. They're like pink. They have like a pink tone to them. And they're so beautiful. Man, just just being here in this air and in this weather with the smells and like like how different of a person I am now and then coming back here it's a trip it is a fucking trip 
I can smell the earth starting to wake up like that life in the in the earth let me show you these trees up here these trees right here I don't know what they were are um, but they like put out like all these cones I guess they do it like the ones in Yosemite where they do like a mass um, a mass production of cones to ensure like the survival of the species lots of different types of trees up here of course we've got the pine the ever-present pine see right here moose poop moose poop it's there the moose are everywhere um, I'm hoping I don't come across one on foot. Oh, what a terrifying experience that is. So you can see the mountains from here, the blue back there. There's another spot where the moose have, in rutting season, have stripped that bark off that tree. <laughs> Oh, look at the mossy roof over there. Oh, I love it. I love me a mossy roof. Just like just everything is so different up here. Yeah, I talked to my mother. Um, everything is, you know, I hope to see her. Neither uh, her or my stepdad have cars. Um, and Dorothy has a car, but she works all day. Oh wow, look at this moss. It's like orange. It's different colors. So cool. I wonder how many people live in Alaska now. It was like the whole state, something, it was like 700,000. But for sure that number has gone up. Canadian geese here. I do want to get to the coast. I get to see Aiden tonight. Um, I get to go over to his foster mother's home where he lives and he's going to cook dinner and his new girlfriend is going to be coming over. So I'm so excited about that. Can't wait to see him and you know cook with him. I don't want him to just cook. I know he's a good cook. Um, who knows? Who knows how it's going to go. Um, I should go home and take a nap. Because I am pretty tired. I woke up really early. I think once I get to the house. I'm almost back to the house. Um, then I'll take a nap. After Dorothy leaves from her lunch break. I made chili so she can have chili for lunch. I ate a little bit of it because I was just so freaking hungry. I couldn't help myself. It smelled too good. Um, oh, that smell. Smell that smell of wet, like wet grass. It's like a, it's such a particular smell. And it's the smell of my childhood. Look at the mountains, halfway with snow. See, it's May here, and it still looks like this. Can you all see why I don't want to live here? Like, it's all wet. It's like very a very harsh place. And the people, like, you have to be harsh to, like, survive here. Um, there's no, like, it's so different. The culture is so different for, to, from the South. You know, like, you pass people in the grocery store or some anything, anywhere, and... They say, excuse me, or they, they like look at you and say, hello, people here, they don't even acknowledge your existence. They're just like, get the fuck out of my way, basically. Um, it's like a very, like if you come here and you're Southern and nobody tells you those things, you're going to have your feelings hurt every single day. Because if, you know, it's like coming from the South where everybody's so friendly and so 
willing to say hi and excuse me and thank you and all these things. Um, it's not like that here. So, here's some wild dog rose bushes. See, everything's got this like thick layer of like grime on it. See the snow? It's like this thick layer of like grime or something. Well, that venture to that lake was a fail. So I'm going to have to have Dorothy show me where the other one is because I don't think my phone is accurately picking up where I'm at. Hear the seagulls. All the Alaska, you can tell Alaskan, like grown people. People who have been born and raised here, they like, this time of year, they're not wearing coats. It's like warm to them. The apartment buildings. Oh, I grew up in apartments. It's just what it is here it's apartments on apartments on apartments on apartments <laughs> sometimes you find a little house tucked in here and there but it's usually just apartments and trash big dumpsters oh look that looks like a new little Shed Dewberry Dewberry Street. Damn, I wanted to find a lake, some kind of nature area. I'm like right here in this highly populated area. <laughs> Cold blooded. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, if that flower will dry in it and then you could just it will just be there. Yeah. All girls do that. You know like those um like when you put it's not glue but it's like clear if you put flowers in it. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that resin? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think she'll let you stay the night anytime? Yeah. Uh, maybe this weekend. On the weekend? Yeah. Or Saturday. Maybe Saturday, actually. Sunday, we go to church. Yeah. I'm going to go to church with you. All right. I don't like church. Where do y'all go to church? I do hope. I know for a boys' boat club. Okay. Yeah. Cause I know that yeah, church. You had me out there. I know that church down the end of the street. There's a church up here. Uh, I think it's almost across the street from Hulahans. Uh, it's like across the street oh, 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 oh. and a little. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, a lot of my old friends and everything go to that church. I used to go to that church when I was younger too. I hate when the figure, when there's like super big people that I go up there and start talking forever. Yeah, our church is boring. Yeah. You know what I'm I go, like, it's close to the base, though. Like, oh, oh, I remember that one. Yeah. That one's alright. Man, it's so strange being here. <laughs> I've literally not walked through Anchorage or Mountain View for like 15 years. Since since you were since I got pregnant yeah, with you, I yeah. haven't been really been around here. Oh, oh 
this cute puppy his little sweater <laughs> hello oh so cute <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's the same one. Training. Man, they changed all this. There used to be, there used to be a big line of woods right here. Yeah, that you cut that came up to the road. I used to hang out with kids here. I still know them people I met there. I used to go to that school down there, Mount View Elementary. I was, I was in school. I don't know if you guys ever heard about it, but there was a one time this this drunk native guy came to that school and he tried to he stabbed two kids. Really? Yeah, I was in sixth grade when that happened in school. What the heck? Yes. Yeah, they locked us in the school for a while. I'm running home. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, man, I want to stay here, crazy people. Oh, God, Let me home. <laughs> Like, this is the most yeah, dangerous right. place to or be. Stay along the wall. And oh, God. No one's doing that. Have something to protect yourself. Right? I'm out the window. It's like, shit, give me a gun. Then I'll protect For myself. Real. <laughs> <laughs> I go find them. People are crazy. For real. Some, some kid just overdosed. God, that's sad, overdosed man. But they, they, they live. Still sad. Yeah. Man. That's a huge problem, even down in the area I'm in. The people sure. dying of fentanyl left and right where yeah. I'm at. It's getting bad here. It's just like we're in the whole school having like this video. Oh, yeah. Jeez, man. You know what a 30 is per 30? Yeah. I almost took one of those when I was locked yeah. up. Because someone brought in a, we had a vis visitation hours, and so mom brought in. Four That's what my mom did to me, too, sure. when I was in, in McLaughlin. So the coast, I'm guessing, is this way. Ooh, ooh, it's cold. Okay, I'm here at Jewel Lake with Dorothy. Oh, it's been a rough couple days, guys. It's been a rough couple of days. I got to see my son last night. He made me dinner. I got to meet his girlfriend. I got to see where he lives. I got to hang out at the house for a while. Um, he gets to come over on Sunday to see me. So everything's good there. But Dorothy and I, Dorothy personally, is going through a lot of stuff that she did not speak to me about, which I will not <clears throat> divulge here. Um, and I just wasn't prepared for it, so I would, you know, it's not a problem. I love Dorothy. I love my sister very much, um, and I'm happy to be here for her. I just wish I was a little bit more prepared for what I was walking into, um, but, you know, that's life. We're working through it. It's tough. We had a tough life. Look at the little baby. Oh my goodness. Did you find me? Come on. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, she's running so fast. <laughs> oh, look. Is this? Yeah. Yeah. This side's better. I just couldn't walk through it. My feet got all wet. Cause my shoes are like um, cloth. Well, if you believe it or not, it's like 9:30 at night. <laughs> I know it's crazy. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go out, but <laughs> see, look, there's more of those moose rutting things. Yeah, they're around here, that's for sure. 
I know you gotta be careful. They blend right into the damn woods. I'm not scared of them. I bug am. They don't bug you. I am. The, you could. They could just be standing there. You never even but fucking you, know you it. Don't bug them, they don't bug you. I know that, but still. They're so scary. Oh, look, here's a piece of quartz. I think it's cool that they're partly a quartz. She's right around the little edge here. What are you doing over there? Look at the colors on that. I mean, this these birch trees have so many different colors in them. In the bark, it's like pink and peach. It's beautiful. It almost looks like a, a human uh, skin when they're bruised. <laughs> 